Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be trying out some Majiro Witch. Now this is another different language game that was recommended to me by Johnny in my Discord. So we're going to be trying it out and seeing how it is, you know? It's made by Square Enix, so yeah, it, it could be good. Square Enix is pretty famous about making really good RPG games, so I have high hopes for this. Alright, let me get through this and I'll be right with you guys. All right, so we just got in the game now. Yeah, I had to go through some downloading. Uh, this is Japanese, by the way. And I did find it on the Q app. All right. Oh, they're recustomizing our own character. It really depends on what, like, actual hair and stuff I give her. Mm. Have any better eyes? I don't know, to be honest. Okay, so we got shorter hair, we got pretty decent long hair. Uh, you can't really turn it around or anything just to see that her hair choices. That kind of sucks. Eh, the little one actually looks pretty decent as this. For some reason, these hair colors kind of throw me off. Because they aren't as dark as you would see here. Like, this one's pretty damn dark. This one's kind of lightish dark. So I'm going to go with more of the vampire theme. <laughs> I don't really care. Alright. Now let's go in. So it seems like we have different loadout cards. So we got a mage, we got a healer, and we got... Oh, we got a warrior. I mean, the scythe looks pretty damn nice. Um, the healer kind of looks cool, but I'm more interested in the warrior. Alright, let's go. I like that design a lot better, personally. I mean, we won't know anything of what this says, but I guess we can skip through it a little bit, just to... Get a little bit of the animations. Oh, okay. Alright, so they got some pretty detailed animations. Uh, I wouldn't... Say it's, like, too interesting so far. Yeah, I would have to definitely read the story. What the hell is that thing? Don't you scream at me, how dare you? I feel like I know what this game could mostly be on. Huh. Well damn, that's a lot of damage. But, kinda reminds me of something. I know it does. Can I remember? But we pretty much have our cost system here. That's obvious, and we pretty much have skill cards that have like different cost effects, abilities that we can use. And I actually like this type of system. Oh. <laughs> Most of the time we have a pretty decent chance of getting games like this on my global, especially from like Square Enix. There's a decent chance of us getting it. It's not like a guarantee. But, from what I see so far, I'm kind of hoping we do get one. Because I definitely want to try out a system like this a little bit more. Oh, 
Let me guess, it's just 3D models like actually talking to each other on each side for this game. Oh, what well, am? Nope, we're still in the opening beginning. But it gets struck down. You guys be wondering what the story is about. Hopefully, it's somebody who actually has played the game and can read it has like a like a little bit of a summary. That'd be cool. I don't know. It goes to two D portraits. Okay, so it, it has like the whole Alchemist Code thing where they go to like 2D models to 3D models back and forth when it comes to like story. Some of these monsters though. <laughs> okay. So it has a little bit of open world to it. Move all the way over there. So let me guess, is it like the... Okay, good. The motion pad does not move along with where I'm aiming. Like, if you guys don't know, I have a really pet peeve of when you have like... Have like this little controller moving across my screen. I would rather have it stationary. That is my pet peeve about games with like motion pads. Or movement pads. Ah, this music, this music definitely gives me a lot of Kingdom Heart vibes. Oh, huh. Oh. Okay. I don't know why, dude. I'm just really digging the music so far. Okay, cool. Did that. What else? Yeah, it'll tell us if we can't use if we can or can't use it. And there is a whole elemental system. What the fuck is the brown? Is that earth? I'm guessing this is earth, water, fire, wind. Light, dark. That is just gonna be my guess. Why'd you be like mud or something? <laughs> With something random. Oh, we only fought like one monster over there. Thought the stages would be a little bit longer. Hopefully they are. Click on this? What is this? Oh, seems like a summoning banner. This is it like a weapon summons? Ah, oh, neat. He even shows off the, the weapon in your hand. And that sword actually looks really badass. Equip it. Okay. Ah, it's so good to have pads like this again. But I gotta say, so far, it's pretty damn cool. I definitely love this sword. Kind of reminds me of a sword you would see in Kingdom Hearts. Um, I, I think you guys know which one I'm talking about. It's like the... I think it's the very first Kingdom Hearts I'm thinking about. Like the sword where you where you have like a choice between a shield sword or... What the fuck was it? Wand? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that sword for some reason. 
but I'm thinking I'm getting the design a little bit wrong. I think it was red with a, like a paw symbol on it. I don't know why it's reminding me of that. Just seems like the same design, but a little bit longer. In a way, this game is kind of like basically unisimly, but 3D. <laughs> Actually, that is legit what it is. It's Unison League 3D. <laughs> we go in with random people coming in too. But it's a card selector. <laughs> I right, even gets first place, second place damage. It's even a basically a straight up co-op game where you can just invite your friends and go through stages which I do love I've been hoping there would be a lot more co-op games like that for sure but not many developers want to dazzle in like fully co-op games especially ones that look as unique as this Like, I love fighting with, uh, friends. And I feel like this could be, like, a really, really good, um... Hold up. This could be, like, a really, really good, um... Co-op game. Alright, so you can gain skills from your weapons here. Take less damage with the better gears. Hmm. My character looks so adorable, doesn't she? Don't you dare fight it. You know it's right. <laughs> you already know where I'm going right away. Let me in that mailbox, please. The reward is cool and all, but let me in my mailbox. That looks terrifying and total nightmare fuel. Ooh. Those look delicious. Now I'm hungry. Great. God damn it. Okay. So is there a collect all? Okay. Thank you. Let's open. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Hold up. Go back. I need to find my box. Where is my box? Is that my inventory? Okay, nope, it's not. Okay, so these are just like little start re starting rewards. Noted. Menu. Bad. There we go. So everything is going to be openable in shop or uh, summons down there. I do want to see what their shop is like, though. Okay. So I'm guessing this is our um, normal currency and this is our pay currency. For just my guess. And this is like, what? Nope, stop. This is like earnable currency that's for like a different content. Probably like PvP or arena or something like that. Could be. Could be. Cool, cool. To be honest, this one seems very easy to like navigate around. Even if they don't have like a whole bunch of English stuff. All right, let's open up tick. I want this outfit. What? I definitely want the hat. Give me the hat. What you got? Ooh, rainbows. Oh, dude, that sword looks sick. I'm using it. Wish there was a way 
can we just like straight up equip it? Oh, that was like the review thing. Go away. <laughs> Not right now. I'm opening stuff. So I feel like this is like a step up banner. I mean, either way it goes, we're having three of those. Um, let's do this first. Do it send someone on this banner than the other banner. Ah, rainbow. What do we get? Oh, that one's sparkly and shiny. Alright, that outfit kind of looks nice. Kind of. Okay, so we can change to any weapon. We're not just stuck with our like beginner weapon, I think. At least that's what I'm thinking and hoping. Yo, that was hold up. Hold on, can you I swear to god, if this game lets me have like skins over my actual weapon, like like I can carry that uh level four sword but have this skin on it, that would be so dope. That's cool. Not a huge fan of the stance though. Oh, neat. I need better looking armor. I've just been getting a whole bunch of daggers. So. That actually looks pretty, pretty dope. I definitely love the design of this weapon. Hell, I'll probably play this game like a lot if if it does get a global. Like, holy shit. You're a uh... You didn't even look like you were stretching. Where the hell did the random good morning come from? <laughs> oh, we had this. I didn't even know that. Ooh. Oh, okay, this is like starter rewards. Hold up, can, does it change the stats on the side? Yes, it does. So this one I got is way better stats than this. Noted. Okay, so you can change the deck of the skills too. So if you don't want that, you can replace it with that. Okay. Not a huge fan of the design, though, right now. I do want, like, skin function, which I was kind of hoping was a thing. I'm not going to be, I'm not even going to lie to you. If it's not, if there isn't a, like, you know, dress up option without a. If there isn't like a dress up item, well, sort of like function like that, like Unison Link has, to where you can already have like one weapon that you already like own or have owned, where you can change the design of it or a skin, I definitely would recommend a system like that for this game. That would actually be amazing for this game, especially since it seems like fashion is going to be quite a big thing. Alright, let's summon on this banner now. Is this like... I was thinking it was like pay currency. Come on, rainbow again? Yep, another rainbow. Alright, let's see what we get. Ah, that was going to be something good. Ah, neat. 
Wait, is it one of those they'll change to um, four star or shiny? I like that one. I mean, don't tip me. I'll sacrifice for fashion. <laughs> you think I won't? I will. Got a scythe. Got another staff. We can get our staff in the other pool. And we got the same sword that we got last time. The only thing I like here is that. So what's this? Oh, is that... Yeah, I think that's pay currency. It has to be, right? Yeah, because it's showing red. So that's actual, like, pay currency. No tid. Whoops, I was not trying to go in there again. I was going to go change my character stuff. Alright, go. Go back, go back. So it's more of a weapon gotcha game, if anything. Weapon and armor. Like I said, you just look. But without the summons, from what I see. That'd nah, be fine. Fashion. I just wanted to see the design. Wait, we don't need, like, powerful gear at the start of the game. Oh wait, is this like a HUD where we go? I think it's a HUD with your party. Yeah, it's like a HUD for your parties. Or is it either just a lobby? Seemed like a HUD to me. Where you can invite your friends, then you guys can go into missions and, you know, like, queue up. Stuff like that. Okay, I was about to say, can you, like, change the last second? No, you can just look at your stuff before you go in. You do have, like, a little AI that comes with you, too, apparently. I'm pretty sure you could probably, like level her up or something. Maybe she just levels up with you. Okay, so... This is the only enemy, huh? Let's hit with this. Damn. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't mind me just getting carried. <laughs> like, let me do something cool. like um, armor okay yeah you you do all the damage oh and that heals okay so there's life still attacks too okay thanks to my magic she didn't take like a lot of damage noted okay pretty neat pretty neat damn Wait, am I controlling her too, or is she controlling herself? That's the real question I should be asking then. Because it seems like every turn is like a new turn. Or a new skill. Okay, so now they are longer. Cool. Alright, so this turn I'm going to use this axe. And let's see who uses it. I use the axe. Okay, yeah, she controls herself. Noted.
But sometimes she gets her turn before me. God damn. She must have like a real good gear right now. Uh, let's give ourselves a shield. Because she doesn't have like a lot of HP. Oh, it's physical. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to try out this one. So this one is like aimed towards us, right? Use this. Cut that shoe. Not if she just keeps kill still killing. Or kill stealing. Nah, I don't know. Anywho. That has been the game. It's actually pretty interesting. I, I like it. Definitely has a huge amount of potential. For sure. And definitely has like a lot of like co-op ability. I could definitely say good job on this one's where it needs. Now, I just need a release date for like global, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, just saying. <laughs> but yeah. That is it. Hope you guys enjoy. Try out the game yourself if you guys want to try it out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.